while they're taking up the offering, we have uh, a very special uh, guest here with us. In fact, this is the first time that she's ever been in this service. And I'm going to introduce her today. Her name is Callie Ann. She is my great niece. And I get the privilege and the honor today to dedicate my little niece to the Lord. And so I would like to ask, if y'all would, please get this over here. If I could have Callie Ann, if she would bring her mother, father, grandparent, if, if any of our grand, if any of the grandparents, aunts or uncles, great grandparents. If y'all would, if y'all would come, and uh, if I could have Callie Ann and her parents right here, and then on down the line, just to have my family members. Oh, Sam, Sam's not here today. Bryce, big brother is here. dedication service. What a special time. Special special time for Kellyanne Grace Anderson and Sam and Anna. And Sam is not able to be here today, but, but uh, we know that he would love to be able to be here. But children are a wonderful thing. From the time they're born until the time that you can get them out of the house, they are precious. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Things that maybe do that are so precious. How they use their entire bodies to yawn and stretch. And sometimes as you get older, that, that doesn't change. <laughs> the first time they laugh out loud is so precious. How they look at you with so much trust in their eyes. Knowing somehow that you're going to do everything to make everything okay. Take care of them and take care of them. I, I, I want to share with you a few things before we, before we pray today. First of all, I want to tell you that children are from God. In Isaiah chapter 44, verse 2, just the first part of that verse, it says, This is what the Lord says He who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. And, and, and we read several accounts. In God's word, where he knew you before you were born. That tells us something right there. Babies are special. He knew, it, it, this tells me that you were someone before conception is made. He knew you. So while the debate continues over whether, uh, you know, you're a human being or not, um, you become somebody when God knows you. I believe that. He made Callie Ann exactly how he wanted her to be. He determined her eye color, her hair color, her tone and her skin, the pitch of her voice. God made her beautiful in every way. Children are from God. Number two, children are also a gift. And what a precious gift they are. They're a gift not to be taken for granted. If there's one thing that I learned from my seventh grade science teacher, this, this one statement that, that was made I'll never forget, and the teacher was describing how children are formed and delivered. But listen to what she said. She said, for babies to come out perfect is far less likely than for a baby to have problems. We think of it that they, uh, that they have ten fingers and ten toes and properly working or, uh, organs that everything's okay, and they are. But she was saying that a baby is less likely to come out that way. She called it a blessing, uh, to, uh, a blessed thing to have a healthy baby. Well, I want to tell you this. Callie Ann has been blessed. Sam and Hannah have been blessed with a precious gift. 
It doesn't matter if they have 10 toes or 10 fingers or how healthy they are. They've been blessed because they're made in the image of God. Hannah and Sam, this is why it's so important that you be the parents that God has called you to be. You need to keep an atmosphere of a loving father and a loving mother that she can grow up in. Keep them in a place where they know about God. Keep her in a church where they will one day come to a saving grace of Jesus Christ. They are a precious gift from God. But they do bring great responsibility. And, and I know you guys are up for the challenge. Number three is this. Children are grand. It's been said that a, a wonderful thing about grandkids is that you can love them and spoil them. And most importantly, you can give them back to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> You can get them to the point of being obnoxious, and then you can hear Grandpa say, it's time to go back home. <laughs> Matthew chapter 19, verse 14 says this. But Jesus said, let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. They are so grand that they belong to heaven. They belong to heaven. Grandparents, the responsibility does not lie with just the parents alone. You too have been blessed with the gift from God. And it's your responsibility to help in overseeing the raising of Callie Ann. Now, don't misunderstand what I just said there. Not to the point of telling Sam and Hannah how to raise, but, but you are to offer encouragement and to let them know that you're there to help them. To offer some mom and dad time away from the kids. To pray for their safety. To pray for Sam and Hannah as they make decisions that are going to affect their family. These precious gifts of God. On a little personal note, my final point. Just remember that Callie Ann is a gift of God. She's a precious gift. And she's grand. And Callie Ann is also a girl, so better have shells for the shotgun. <laughs> for the first time, can I hold on Callie Ann? This is the very first time. My goodness, I almost forget how to hold it. My goodness. All right, please don't cry. Isn't this, isn't she beautiful? Absolutely. This is the very first time I've ever held my great, my great niece. We're going to pray. And I would like, with, with this congregation, will you stand with me this morning? I would like for Hannah to lay her hands upon Callie Ann. And I would like for these grandparents, you would just come right in here. Her and Bryson, would y'all come out here? And I would like for the grandparents and the great grandparents, would y'all gather around Hannah and Bryson? And let's just pray for this family today. Father, Lord, we thank you for Sam and Hannah and Bryson and Callie Ann. Lord, we know that these babies are a special gift to you. Father, I pray right now for blessings upon Hannah and Sam. God, as they make decisions, Lord, that are going to affect the future of their babies and Callie Ann. God, just touch them today. Give them wisdom. Give them strength. I pray that you will be the very center of their home and the very center of their marriage. God, touch them today. Father, I pray for these grandparents. Lord, that you will give them wisdom and give them patience, give them encouragement, God. Father, I pray that they will be a blessing to Sam and Hannah. God, as they raise these babies, Lord, touch them today. And we pray that Callie Ann will come uh, as, as when she reaches that age, Lord, that she will accept you as her Savior. Father, we give you praise. We pray for this home, Lord, that it will maintain an atmosphere of worship to you. 
We ask this in Jesus' name. Thank you so much.